Port Moore's week of prayer and fasting. Our theme for this month is, it's a new season. Have you been wondering what the Lord has in store for you in this season of your life? Well, please do stay tuned to our service. Turned into wine. You open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. Awesome in power, our God, our God. Water turned into wine. You opened the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's none like you.
our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God. Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God. Our God. Hallelujah. This next song, some people might not know it, but if you know the 27th Psalm, the first verse says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Hallelujah. And this song is just talking about God being our light and our salvation. So we have no reason to fear anything in this world. Hallelujah. We will remain confident in our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid?
on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the everlasting God. You are the everlasting. We set our hope on you. We set our hope on your love. We set our hope on the one who is the everlasting God. You are the
Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Indeed, when we call your name, situations have to change. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Demons tremble at your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Peace. Bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me. Let it break at your name. Still, cause the sea to still, the rage in me to still. Every wave at your name, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus. Jesus, you silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you made the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, cause these bones to live, call these lungs to sing once again. Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus, you silence me. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is a light forever lifted high. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name, your name is a light that the shadows can't deny. Welcome to another um, week of prayer fasting, and I am your speaker for tonight, um, Joseph Martin. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for tonight that we gather here, uh, God, in your presence. Father God, I thank you even now that as you speak your word, mighty God, through me, your heart, let it residue with the heart of those that are listening and those that are listening uh, through the internet. Uh, we thank you, Father God, so even now, let your word go forth. Father God, I must decrease, and you may be increased. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So our theme for today is, it's a new season. Now, there are 25 seasons in the Bible. We have due season, we have appointed season, and we have a certain season. Uh, the Bible says in John 5, 4, that, for an angel went down at a certain season, glory be to God, to store up the water. What is it in your life that need to store up in this season? Glory be to God. Genesis says that while the earth remains seed time and harvest time, glory be to God, shall not cease. It's saying that season is something that is continual. It rotates. It goes around in circle. So if you have winter, Come in, come in 2020, we are on our way to, to winter. Come 2021, we have another cycle of winter coming. So it is a continual uh, rotation. And what I want to share to let you know tonight is that distraction is also a season. And we're in a time right now where distraction is the art of the day. So much thing that is catching us as a church uh, in distraction is distracting us from our purpose, distracting us from the right, the right thing that God wants to do in our, in our life. Uh, glory be to God. What God is saying in this new season is that we must keep our focus on heaven. Yes, in this season, God is saying, keep our focus on heaven. And this is your divine purpose. You know, we have two different kind of purpose. You have a physical purpose and you have a spiritual purpose. A physical purpose is it come with uh, the blessings. And you also have a divine purpose that God wants you to call, call you in. That's what God calls you into, a divine purpose. And a divine purpose is that God wants you to make it to heaven. He comes to this earth to make sure that you make it to your heavenly home. The Bible says in Revelation 6, I'm going to read from verse 9 to 11. It says, and when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word. And they cried out with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? 
and white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them, they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servant also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. So here we have a, a, a group of people that are already in heaven. They make it to their heavenly home. And they're crying out, when is this going to end? When all the killing on this earth is going to end? When all of us is going to, when the rest of us that are left in the church on this earth right now, when are we going to make it? When is going to come and restore us? And God is saying, listen, I'm going to go and wait for a season because, it have, because many of us are going to die. Many of us will die. And many of us have to die. In order for you to get to heaven, there is a physical death and there is also a spiritual death. And, and your, 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 our purpose is one that called us to dead. It called us to dead, meaning we have to dead from the world, dead from sin, before we can resurrect with him. And in, in our divine purpose, uh, when we're walking in divine purpose, it, it, it comes with divine destiny and realm. So it's a three dimension. It takes you from one place to another. It transcends you. And we're a spiritual being in an earthly body. We're divinity in humanity. We have the power of God that is inside of us. The Bible says that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We have also dominion over the earth. According to Psalms 115, 16, said that God gave us the earth to the children of God. And we also have eternal life. The Bible says that John 3, 16, for God's soul of the world that he gave his only begotten son. And who shall remain, believeth in him, should not perish, but have eternal life. And destiny. What is destiny? A destiny is a landing place. A destiny is a place where you arrive. And when we are called in our purpose, we are, you know, moving towards our destiny. There is a, a, termination, a terminal place where we're going to stop one day, and that is heaven. When we all leave here, is that some of us going to go to heaven or some of us going to go to hell? Wherever you make your bed, that's where you will lie at the end of your divine purpose, the end of your calling on this earth realm. Glory be to God. No, God is saying to us, people of God, that all of us who are in Christendom, that are walking on this earth, should walk in divine purpose. Even Jesus walked in his divine purpose. The Bible says that when Jesus was, he come through Mary, he was born, and he, he was traveling through this world, glory be to God, and, and the cross was his destination. He have a pointed place where you have to go and die. Glory be to God before we can take up and reach to heaven. And God is saying that we have to reach that, 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 that location. We have to reach that destination. Glory be to God. We see even Enoch. Enoch walked with God and the Bible says that God took him. The Bible said that Elijah, a man of God who walked with God, who do great signs with God. The Bible said that it reached, he was looking for a, a, a special place. Glory be to God. And God took him. Even our father Abraham, the Bible says that he was looking for a city that built an architect. Glory be to God that not built by man but built by God. So there is a heavenly home and there is a destination. There is a final resting place after all this that is going on, on this earth. And God is saying we have to stay focused. Glory be to God. To, to, to reach at that destination. And with all the distraction that is going on, many of us is going to miss heaven. Many of us will miss heaven if we don't stay focused. Glory be to God. We see that uh, the enemy, we see the enemy is doing his thing to distract us. Many of us, we are distracted by our phone. Many of us are distracted by the things of this world. Many of us right now that are listening to me not even have heaven on your mind. And God is saying it is time for you, time for us to, glory be to God, have our mind set on our heavenly home. Glory be to God. So what is divine purpose? 
when you have a divine purpose, you will have a pull. When you're walking in your divine purpose, there will be a pull. It will pull you out of your flesh. It will pull you out of this world. Because the Bible tells us that we are not of this world. Glory be to God. Philippians said that our citizenship is in heaven, people of God. And many of us, uh, we think that we get the house, we get the car, we're, we're, we're building mansion on this earth realm. And the Bible says that all of this is going to go up in fire. Jesus says that he's going to prepare a place for you. Glory be to God. And, and if it were not so, he wouldn't say that. And he's coming back for you. Yes, he's coming back for you. So there is a place of rest at the end of this divine walk, this purpose that you are on. Glory be to God. And what happened when divine purpose does? Divine purpose, it blinds you from the things of this world. But it opens up your eyes into the spiritual. Yes, it opened up your eyes to the supernatural. The Bible says when Adam and Eve was in the garden, the Bible says that when they eat apple, their eyes were open. Their eyes were opened up to the things of the world, but their eyes were closed to the things of the spirit. Glory be to God. So they, 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 they forget about the spiritual thing, the spiritual benefit, and they have to feed on and depend on, glory be to God, the, 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 the natural uh, world. Uh, one scripture says, one passage says that the, 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 the sweat of your bro, you shall eat bread. And when you're walking in your natural purpose, it causes you to work harder than things will be harder than it, you, than it was when you're walking in the spiritual. That is why many of us, it is so hard for many of us, glory be to God, to, to get a certain spiritual uh, maturity because we're so we, we are busy working that 95. We're busy working that money, yeah, that, that, that shedder, that greed. But what? Our spiritual life is dormant. Glory be to God. We don't pray. Hallelujah to God. We don't have no time to, to straighten our spiritual mind because of the, 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 the overwork that we have to put in. Some of us are working overtime. Our glory be to God to pay that bill. Some of us are working overtime. Glory be to God to, to pay our, our children's school fee and all these things. Our glory be to God. But God is saying that when you're walking in divine purpose, these things will come upon you. The, the, the purpose, the prosperity, the promotion will come on, upon you. You can know when you're walking in divine purpose. When you're walking in divine purpose, there are three things that happen. Three P. The first thing is promotion. Glory be to God. The first P is promotion. The second is protection. And glory be to God. The third thing is provision. So once you're walking in divine purpose, you're guaranteed to get provision. God will provide for you. When you're walking in divine purpose, you're protected. When you're walking in divine purpose, hallelujah to God. God will protect you. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. So let's step down now and move forward from divine purpose. So what is it that is hindering you what is it that is stopping you what is it that is distracting you that making you think of heaven when last you think of your spiritual home when last you spin when last you spend time talking to god about your spiritual home think about it because what happened you know when we sin sin causes us to become a lover of the world but the hater of god and when you hate someone, when you sin, literally that you're saying that you hate God. Because how can you sin against a God? Joseph said, how can he sin and do such thing against his God? So God is saying that sin separates us from the love of God. And God is saying that we should not love not the world. Neither the things of the world. If any man love the world, the love of God is not in him so people of god we're in a season right now where so many things that is taking us our mind taking us distracted getting us off guard but god is saying it is time to focus on heaven now how do we stoke us how do we focus on or on heaven the bible says that 
in Matthew 7, 13, and this is from the NIV version. It says, you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway is to hell is broad and his gate is wide for the many who choose that way. Hallelujah. So God is saying that the only way you can enter to heaven, you have to go to the narrow gate. Just picture a narrow gate. You're walking on a narrow road, you go to a narrow gate. You have to set your eyes a flint. You have to stay so focused on that narrow road. Because when you're on the broad road, there's a lot of distraction. You can take other u turn you can take other detour. But when you're on, heading towards that narrow gate, you have to stay focused. And the Bible said that Jesus is that door. Jesus is that gate. He is the way. He is the truth and is the life. And when God called us, glory be to God, he called us so that we can keep our eyes on him, keep our eyes on the cross and follow in his footsteps. If we follow in Christ's footsteps, if we follow the footsteps of Jesus Christ, glory be to God, we are guaranteed to make it into heaven because what? We are synchronizing. We are coming one with him. We have a mind. We have a mind. Stay focused on the things of Christ. And it is critical that we know that none of us was none of us give our life to Christ. Let me put it that way. None of us give our life to Christ. God called us and we answer the call. And some of us take long to answer the call. You know, when your phone are ring and you know, say, one person, you probably don't want to talk to that person and you ignore that phone call. But many of us, God has been ringing our phone from when we were young and we never answer it until we reach certain age. Like for me, I never answer the call till me I was 37 year old. Glory be to God. And God is saying that to, it's not you per se give your life to God. God gave his life for you. But what God does, he calls you and you answer the call. Glory be to God. The Bible said in Romans 8, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. I want you to take a look in that verse. It says, to them who are the called. We are the called. The ecclesia, the church, we are the called out one, the sent one. And let me give you a perfect example what a, a divine purpose looks like. When you're walking in divine purpose, what it looks like. So your divine purpose is a, is a say, a lens, a, a Benz. Yes, a car. Your purpose is like a car. And what God does God puts you in that car, in that vehicle, and he purposely, fully take himself, hire himself to be your driver. So God is your driver, and you are by the passenger seat, and he drives you towards your destiny. So that, 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 that's what a perfect picture of a, what a divine purpose looks like. You're in his glory be to God control you're under his control the bible says that in him we live and move hallelujah to god in him we live and move so when we place ourselves in god's divine purpose when we when when, when we are thinking about our purpose it causes us to go all kinds of uh different direction some of us don't know what our calling is some of us don't know what our purpose is but god is saying to us to let him drive you into your divine calling. Hallelujah to God. And the next one is that if our purpose is to get to heaven then, the landing place, that final destination, where is heaven? The Bible tells you that in Isaiah 61 that this is what the Lord said. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Meaning that Heaven is above. The Bible tells you in Genesis 1 when they were creating, God was creating heaven and earth and he made the firmament and all those things. And the Bible tells you when Jesus died, he ascended our uh, glory be to God in, in heaven. So heaven is above. Hallelujah to God. And heaven is where we meet and talk and tabernacle with God because what heaven is also in our heart. The Bible said that God in us, the hope of glory. The Bible says that the kingdom of God lives in us. So when we are glory be to God, give our life to God, when we come together at baptism, 
we are we are coming together in the kingdom of god we are, we are actually coming into the purpose of god and we guarantee the bible says that in john john 3 he says that if you baptize really really i say unto you those who baptize in water they shall enter the kingdom of god so once you're baptized that is an access point that is a key for you to enter into heaven uh, glory be to god so what am I saying? Remember that our purpose on this earth is to get to heaven. Jesus come and he make that pathway. He opened that door. When Jesus was on the cross, something amazing happened. It even blew my mind. The Bible says that when Jesus is on the cross and he, he says that word in his speaking tongues, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The Bible says when, when Jesus died, there was an earthquake, a massive 10.10 .10 earthquake that shook their heart, it teared the veil. And the Bible says that even those that was under the grave, the dead that was in the grave, they rose up and meet him in that new Jerusalem, that city. These are those that you see right now in, in Revelation 6 that is, were slain. Those that has, that has gone before us, People like John the Baptist, it has, it has uh, were slain. These were the person that evolved with Jesus Christ, transcend with him. And for us to transcend into heaven, we have to die. Remember that divine destiny, REM, that I was speaking about. The D stands for death. The next D stands for death. And R stand for resurrect. It means that we have to be, we have to dead to the world, totally dead to the world. And we have to totally dead from sin before we can able to walk and reach at that place, walk spiritually in that place where God wants us. Hallelujah to God. So people of God. I pray and I hope that this message bless you. I pray that you will focus more. That's the purpose of this message. I want to get your attention. So much thing is going on in this world. And God is saying, you know, it's time for us. Listen, the rapture can come anytime. I got a vision about three days ago, and I wonder why God would allow me to have that vision because to share it. With, with you this evening i got a vision that i was in my house and the the wall there was a like a siren outside like a trumpet there was a a, a, a siren and when the siren echoed it it shattered my wall and it burst my roof open and when i saw the roof open i could see the blue skies and the white cloud and it's like my body was ascending up into the cloud and I was like, I, didn't, I, I couldn't control myself. It was like a magnetic force or a field that was just pulling me. And I, I, I couldn't do anything but just allow it to just go with the flow. And when I looked down, I saw people on the earth. And God, I, was, I, said, to, I, I said to, who are these people? What are these people? Why they're left behind? Why they're not coming up? And the voice said to me, they're the ones that have been left behind people of God, we're in a season that anything can happen. Coronavirus catches us like the rapture, and it didn't partial. It killed millions of people. And that's what the rapture is going to be. Hallelujah to God. A rapture is going to come when millions of us is going to be taken up, and many of us that are still lukewarm, Many of us that are still wallowing our sin is going to be left behind with those unsaved to go through the tribulation, to go through our uh, glory be to God, Armageddon, and all the rest of those things. God is saying, people of God, stay focused on your heavenly home. I hope this message bless you. Uh, glory be to God. Let us pray. Father, I thank you that as your word go forth, I pray that, God, that it will residue in the heart of your people and it will give them mighty God a passion 
it will uh, stir up their spirit, mighty God, to focus, mighty God, on you, to focus on their heavenly home, Father God. And as their journey, just as our Savior, Lord, and Jesus Christ, he didn't left none of us behind, Father God. The Bible says that uh, those that you're giving, Father God, he didn't lose none. Glory be to God. Except the one from Persia, uh, Father God, uh, that, that uh, Judas, that was slain, uh, God, with the rocks. So, Father God, I pray that as we focus on our heaven, we pray that, Father God, we will also, mighty God, help those also to find the way. Uh, glory be to God. We will not come, Father God, heaven empty-handed, but God, we will also, mighty God, spread the gospel, spread the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, mighty God, that we can all, mighty God, get to heaven uh, on that grand, grand, glorious day. So, Father God, I just give you thanks as the word go forth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that it bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen.
goes before me. Defender behind me. I won't fail. I'm filled with anointing. I'm filled with anointing. My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. No weapon can harm me. I won't fail. Hallelujah. I am Joy is refreshing, restores my soul. Mercy and goodness give me a joy. My big tree, my big 
walking your knees. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. So happy you stayed with us for tonight's service. We truly hope that you are blessed by the worship and the word. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you too can be notified when next we put out a new video. Thanks for watching and remember, be safe.